Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Trustman's channel. In today's video, we'll be going through the process of how to set up a Nest thermostat. So, let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press the center button so that we can enter into the setup steps. First thing we'll go through is language. To select something, you'll just press on the screen. Well, obviously, English, US, that's what I'm going to go with, since that's where I'm based out of. Then we're going to go to Equipment, Homeowner. I'm a pro in these videos, but Homeowner is what we're selecting. Making sure that all the equipment is picked up, everything's detected. Make sure we enter the source for our heating. Obviously, it'll depend on your situation. In my case, obviously, it's gas, forced air. But now we're set up on language and equipment. Now we need to move on to the Nest app. The Nest app is going to be on our mobile device, and that's what we'll be able to do to control uh, the Nest thermostat remotely. So once you have that QR code pulled up, you're going to actually pull up your device. In my case, I'm pulling up my Android and on Google Play, I'm pulling up the Nest app for Android. Obviously, if you have uh, iOS, uh, iPhone, you can go into the App Store and download Nest that way. So I've downloaded the Nest app, it's installed, I'm going to sign in, and again the QR code up on the screen on the Nest thermostat is, uh, we're going to be going to that in one second to help pair our Nest with the Nest thermostat. Okay, so we're all set up on the account, enter our address, obviously I'm not going to let you all see that, <laughs> choose what your email options are. And obviously some of these questions as we go through um, is going to be a little different based on where you've installed it in the house, based you know, on your address and everything, um, but pretty self-explanatory. All right, we're actually adding the product now. Go back, whoop, pull up the QR code again. There you go. Just going to pull up that QR code. Continue. Allow. User cushion, continue. Yep, while using the app. And yep, already installed. We did that in our previous video where we actually installed the Nest thermostat, but again, we're setting up the Nest thermostat today. So right now we're connecting to the device. You'll notice the spinning wheel on the Nest thermostat. Pair it with our Wi Fi. Just wait a minute while the finish is connecting. Make sure you keep your device close to the Nest thermostat as it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. Finishing up. And there you go. Notice on both devices that uh, it has been added, so now they're successfully paired with one another. Now we're going to go through more steps on the Nest app as well as on the uh, Nest thermostat itself for getting everything set up so that it's at the settings that we specifically like. So right now, first thing on the app is the uh, eco temperature. Not going to worry about that. We'll talk about that a little later uh, on the uh, Nest thermostat itself. Nest Renew. All right. Now we're actually going to start working with the Nest thermostat so we can get the temperature settings that we want. First, we're going to be testing each of uh, the units. Testing heat, and then testing the AC. Each time that you're going through the Nest thermostat, if you're cycling between things, you're going to be spinning the dial. So if I want to go from heating down to cooling or fan, I'll twist the dial. And then if I want to select something with my thumb, you'll notice I'm just pressing on the bottom of uh, the screen. So right now what I'm doing is I was just testing the heating and cooling. Now I'm going to pick what uh, temperature I want to set. Right now I'm setting my cool to 72. And then I can go between different temperature settings for obviously heat, for cool, heat and cool if I'm using both my heating and air conditioning. This is me setting eco temperatures. Eco temperatures, I would choose my range. Fan, same thing. I can set how long I want the fan to run. And change my times by spinning the dial, and again, to select an option, I would just press, like that. Then set my temperature on the fan. Have the fan running right now, I can stop it. 
Next, I would go to my schedule, and this can be when I set specific temperatures. So, like, for example, I like my house a little cooler when I'm sleeping at night, and then up to a warmer temperature during the day. So, let's see, I'll set uh, a new schedule for myself. So, let's see, Monday, around 4 p.m., I'd be setting the temperature to 76 degrees. And if I want to change it or remove it or anything like that, I can just be cycling through. It's all pretty self-explanatory for just being able to cycle through, fiddling around, choosing the temperatures you want, choosing the timing you want. Pretty self-explanatory. Now here's pretty cool. You have a whole bunch of different varieties you can go through. And uh, we'll go scrolling through these in just one second. This is a record showing what my, uh, how long I was in eco mode and what my temperature settings had been the day before. So now I'm in the settings and go through a whole bunch of things. We have home away assist where I can be setting eco temperatures when nobody's home. That's obviously eco mode. Right now I have it completely set to off for eco mode. Safety temperatures, so the coolest and the warmest the house can get. Then a setting a schedule for the fan. Nest sense. This is a whole bunch of different things. Auto schedule. A lot of these things also you can uh, find by going through your manual, but a lot of them are just uh, pretty self-explanatory. Reminders. You can set reminders for when to change the air filters in your house. Personally, I change mine whenever the uh, clocks go forward and back. What you want your display to see. In my case, current temperature. I prefer to see it that way so we can show exactly what the temperature is in the house. Keep going through, just the brightness of the screen. Just pretty much everything you can think of that you need for the device set up uh, in the settings. Click sound, so in case it makes a click every time uh, I press on the screen. Fahrenheit or Celsius. Track of what the actual day and time is, in case you forget, language, confirmation you're connected to the Nest app, your network, which is your Wi-Fi, locking out your screen, breakdown of your equipment, Nest Pro, software, technical info, legal info. Like I said, pretty much everything in it imaginable. And then finally, confirmation of your temperature, because that's what I have set for the screen. And uh, that's pretty much it. So... Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I uh, hope this found this very helpful on how to set up a Nest thermostat. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the Trustman's channel.